Hello there, this is Eric Meeks. I'm shooting a home on Aurora, no, not Aurora, Desert Willow Road, Desert Willow Circle in Palm Springs. This is a, uh, a true Alexander uh, Palmer and Creasel design. It has had that room right there with the upraised uh, roof on it. That's been an add-on that's been done earlier in time, but when you see the finishing on that there and what you get out of it, it's amazing. That was a breezeway that you could just walk through behind a pony wall to access the backyard back in the original construction. But it's been added on. Still, beautiful house. We're going to walk through real quick. Love the landscaping. Love the style. Very clean. Access to the backyard. A lot of bonuses with this home. There's other people here, so I've got to shoot around them. That's the owner over there, Kevin, who uh, did all the work. Look what he did with the kitchen. It's a very open floor plan. You've got the open beam ceilings, okay, with it. Nice big island with the chairs. Great, great kitchen, very modern. Huge dining room area. You have these large clerestory windows that on a clear day, because it's overcast today, uh, just that would be absolutely stunning mountain views that are up there. Living room is a big room open beam ceiling through it. I'm gonna to head to the backyard here, Kevin. You're okay though. I mean, you're actually, you're kind of the star of it. You did all the work, but- uh, I put all the money out. <laughs> a, a big swimming pool. Now this is the original style of swimming pool that was done with these. So it'll be eight or nine feet deep, probably about three feet deep here on this end, down at that end there. When these were originally built, you'd have a diving board on them. That's just not done. Just fantastic mountain views here. I wish it wasn't overcast. I mean, you would be looking right up at the tram. We do have power lines, okay, in this neighborhood, but it's on all of these. Big backyard, so you've got room to do something in this backyard. And this side over here could be like an RV pad site or dog run or just additional outdoor space, you know, the way it is now. It's a lot that could be done with it. That's access from the uh, master bedroom. This is, I believe, is a bathroom. Let me, uh, oh, it's locked there. Probably they locked it over here. Let me see if I can go in. Oh, I can go in this way here. So we'll do that. Hey, who's that good looking guy? All right. Carpeting in the bedrooms. Really nice tile in the rest. Love the finishing touches of like the ceiling fans and the lights. Something like that. I, I don't know if it's furnished or not. We'll have to check that out later. Uh, dual large closets. You have some storage space up top. Okay, uh, this will be... Well, I'll have to go into that from another direction. Down this way here. Stacked washer and dryer. Here we go. Oh, that must be a locked out closet there. Bathroom totally... Oh, that was a bathroom. Okay. Shower, toilet, sink, good looking guy. All right, so you can see it all in its glory. It's, it's very, very nice craftsmanship that's been done with this. Really done in the style of the era of the home, bringing it to life. Oh, a sunken in tub. That was called a Roman tub back in the day. So this would be the master room, master bedroom. So you'd be right off the side there. Guest bedroom here. These homes were not large. This house was probably originally around uh, 12 or 1300 square feet. It's now at uh, right around 1600. Another guest bedroom. This one's a little larger. Nice ceiling fans. Big closet again here. Probably my one critique that I would do if I were to buy this, this wall right here would be glass, either a slider door or just glass, so you could have that view out over the pool. Anyways, there we have it. I just want to do a quick video. We'll end up here on the pool. I'm Eric Meeks. Thanks for watching.